Okay everybody, something smells. You see this box with all the Ford part numbers on it? Well inside this box is a rear outer lamp unit for a Ford Mondeo Mark V 2017 model. To buy that lamp unit from the Ford Motor Company would cost £491.28 plus VAT which would give us a grand total of £589.54. But I didn't purchase that lamp unit from Ford. This part number here is from Euro Car Parts and this is where we purchased this lamp unit. Euro Car Parts are selling, from what I can make out, genuine Ford rear lamp units with the Ford part numbers and labels on the box for a knockdown price of £285.40 plus VAT which gives a grand total of £342.48 which gives you a saving of £247. Do you have any idea what that equates to? That is eight bottles of Jack Daniels or 240 bottles of Smirnoff Ice for God's sake. Holy shit, talk about blob some extra on top of the parts. That's goddamn daylight robbery. Anyway, that's the rant over. All we're gonna do today is replace the outer lamp unit and the inner lamp unit in the tailgate and I'm going to show you whether the passenger side inner lamp unit can have a rear fog light fitted because if you've got a UK spec Mondeo Mark V you'll notice there's no rear fog light on the passenger side of the vehicle so I'm going to test the wiring on the passenger side and see if the wire is there to facilitate fitting a rear fog light okay so the first thing is to pop this little blanking plug out the way and that will reveal our first little 10 mil nut the piece of carpet just below this trim just pull the seal back and you can just hook this bit of carpet out of the way and that will reveal our second 10 mil nut so using a deep 10 mil socket extension bar and a ratchet we can undo them two 10 mils but be careful when you take the nut off the end of the thread because it's liable to drop down into the bottom of the footwell right now our two nuts are removed you'd think that it would just pull out but it doesn't. It seems to be a bit tight on them threads that are sticking through the bodywork. So the best thing to do is get the flat of your hand and give it a few taps. Not too hard, but if you give it a few taps, it should push it out enough so that the whole unit can come out. And once that's pulled out a bit so you've got a nice gap here, there's a little popper here. You'll just have to pull this bit and the popper will just come out. You can then just gently lift the whole unit out and tip it round so you can see your wiring and your plug connector is just straightforward. Pull it out of its retainer, press the tab down and disconnect the plug. You'll obviously notice these are LED lights, so they're a sealed unit. You're not supposed to take them apart, so don't bother trying. Once they're broken, they're broken. You'll just have to replace the whole unit. Anyway, plug your wires back together. You're probably best starting to feed your two studs through your holes in your bodywork first and then line up your little peg with the hole in the back wing. Bingo! When you're refitting these lights, make sure that that rubber seal isn't tucked underneath the wing. It tends to do that, so make sure that's pulled out and sitting in its right position. So all that's left now to do is refit your two 10mm nuts and just nip them down. But don't tighten them too much or you're liable to crack something. Remember, it's only plastic. Tuck your carpet trim back into place and refit your blanking plate. Done. To remove that inner lamp unit, there's a little blanking plug on the inside of the tailgate. So just pop that out. There'll be an 11 mil nut in there you're gonna to need to remove. And there's a further two 11 mil nuts on the outer edge of the tailgate. So we'll get both them nuts out of the way. Just lower this tailgate back down now. This whole lamp unit should now just pull out and disconnect your wiring plug. See, that's it. These inner ones come out pretty damn easy, I must say. So all you've got going into this plug connector is four black wires. And I want to know if one of these wires will work a rear fog light. Right, so I've got an LED test light hooked up to the car. Now I've switched the side lights on. This terminal is live and the other three terminals are still all earths at the minute. Okay, the headlights are on and I'm just going to switch the rear fog light on. So that's our driver's side rear fog light on. Now we'll check the wiring on the passenger side and see if we've got a live. Right, the top two are earths. That's our side light, which is live. And now the fog lights are switched on. There it is. That wire's now live. 
that means we can have a rear fog light fitted to the passenger rear of these vehicles. And you know, as much as I'd like to tell you what colour wire it is on the wiring loom for the rear fog light, I can't because they're all black. Here's a fun fact. If your reverse light was to blow, you haven't got to replace the whole lamp unit because the reverse light is actually a standard bulb which is one of them capless bulbs with a big glass head on it. And the Lucas part number for one of them bulbs is an LLB921. Seems a bit of a scam really, doesn't it? You've actually got the little blanking bits inside the lamp unit for where the fog light LEDs should be, but there's actually no LEDs there, despite the fact the wiring's there to power them up if they were there. Anyway, what the hell? Let's put this reversing light bulb back into place and slap the bloody lamp unit back on the car. Connect the old wiring up. Stick your three 10 mil nuts back on, but don't go nuts tightening them down. Because remember, it's only plastic. If you tighten them too much, you could crack the lamp. And obviously pop your blanking plug back into your tailgate trim. Yeah, I'm just at the garage now, get my car MOT'd. Okay, love you, bye. Mm. Excuse me, you dropped your rubbish. Mate, you've dropped your rubbish. Huh? Mate, you've dropped your rubbish. Well, ain't you just an ignorant pig? They say ignorance is bliss. <laughs> anyway, I've checked with Ford and I've checked with Euro Car Parts. Neither of them sell the passenger rear lamp unit with a working fog light in it. So you may very well have to go shopping in France or Germany to get a working passenger side rear fog lamp for your Mark V Mondeo. Anyway, that's it. Happy rear fog lights. See ya.